मेरा ऑडियो मिल रहा है मेरा ऑडियो हाँ क्या बोला कंप्यूटर था स्क्रीन मेरा मिल रहा ऑडियो हाँ थोड़ा राइट साइड तो है ना इस तरफ इस तरफ राइट हाँ राइट मतलब आपका लेफ्ट हाँ नहीं और थोड़ा लेफ्ट करिए हाँ बस ठीक है ना अभी ठीक है तभी हाँ ठीक है
पीछे में ये ठीक है सेटअप सेटिंग अब ठीक कर दी कर दो मसला तो जूम हो गया मसला तो जूम आना एक मुझे वो कर लेते हैं लाइट टेन ऑन इस ओके है इसे मुझे डाउनलोड करना है तुम यही रहना टेलीविजन माफन खाते एकानी खाते दरी खाते बस हाँ अच्छा इसको रिकॉर्ड कर लेंगे ये सर ये तो कोई रिकॉर्डिंग ही हो रहा है आपका हो जाएगा ना हाँ ये तो ऑटो रिकॉर्डिंग ठीक ठीक क्लब पे रिकॉर्डिंग हो रहा है सो आई विल वॉच फॉर मॉक्सटेस देन हाँ आफ्टर फिनिश देन आपको ये जो है ना इसको डाउनलोड करना है उसमें फिर वो आ जाएगा वो सर अगर डाउनलोड ऑनलाइन डायरेक्ट दिखाएंगे सर अपने सर सर ऑनलाइन डायरेक्ट हो जाएगा बट इसको डाउनलोड कर ही लेते हैं वो है ना आपको पता नहीं इसका पहले यू आर एल ले लेते हैं शेयर करेंगे तो वहाँ गया चला गया इंटरनेट में तो कोई दिक्कत होगी नहीं आप नहीं सर बीच में बैठ बैठ आ जाते हैं
हाँ बंद कर
नमस्कार प्रणाम हिज होलीनेस स्वामी अद्वेतानंद जी गिरी जी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन ऑल फ्रेंड्स इट्स अ प्लेजर टू सी एवरीवन टुडे एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सटेंड अ वेरी वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू स्वामी जी थैंक यू स्वामी जी फॉर जॉइनिंग अस इन आवर इनिशिएटिव एंड एवर इन for the universal spirituality and humanity foundation so we welcome you very very warmly to this function of ours unfortunately now we have these functions which is only on the virtual platform we are not able to have the physical meetings so therefore this is the best way to connect with everyone we have taken this initiative our foundation has taken this initiative under the guidance of my father and mr rahul varma who is the president of the foundation to see that how we can connect with people and especially in the last 15 months during covid when people have the whole world has gone through a transformative experience which they have never had and i don't think so that this population of every generation and all generations have ever faced in the last 100 years they have seen this kind of a pandemic so which has shaken up almost many of the people all over the world in india to both the lives and livelihoods of the people have been affected and people have also gone through an experience which is transformative for themselves in their lives and therefore today that uh, swami ji we welcome you that you are joining us and the topic today we have is meditate celebrate levitate in the covid pandemic covid-19 pandemic so this is the topic on which we will the swami ji will be discussing today so just to introduce uh, swami ji swami ji is a himalayan yogi environmentalist and social reformer he is the founder of international meditation foundation a charitable organization sharing revolutionary active meditations to bring joy in human life since childhood he has he had questions like from where i came where i'll go who am i who am i what is the solution to misery in life at the age of 9 and part of kabir tradition in pushkar he came out to answer to find out the truth and uh, went to various places all over the world to look at he was uh, he also is uh, a teacher who is teaching in 25 countries teaching meditation 
for free of cost. His meditation methods are revolutionary and designed for today's lifestyle. Youth empowerment project spearheaded by His Holiness provides training to physical training instructors of schools and colleges. He was a brain behind government of India's one child, one tree policy and Sanskar Siksha in national education policy 2020. His Holiness's recommendations form the basis for the inclusion of moral education in the national education policy 2020. So I will uh, now hand over to Swamiji because the program that we have is that Swamiji will, uh, after hearing him and taking us through his, uh, some meditation also today, we'll have a question and answer session with uh, Swamiji. So, you know, all of you can also keep your questions ready. And I'm sure that it will be a very, very enlightening experience that we'll have for one and a half hours. So the program will end at 7.30. So we have a 90-minute program, which is there. And uh, so Swamiji, I hand over to you and I request you to please address us and enlighten us. Thank you so much, Hemanji, for uh, giving me an opportunity to uh, attend this uh, live meeting today and share the meditation with uh, our friends. In uh, today's meditation, first uh, we go ahead with the laughter. Then I will introduce you what is meditation and then out of the number of methods which we have, uh, one method of breath we will pick today and uh, in the end we will uh, have the question answers. So to begin with, uh, there is a saying that Hasiba, Khaliba, Kariba, Dhyanam. So with laugh, with playfulness, we meditate. So just for a few minutes, for no reason, we can go ahead and laugh. So breathe in. <laughs> <laughs> getting the laughter then you just uh, do a sound like uh, ha 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 and then it will come so like ha 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 clap and it will come more <laughs> understand first what is meditation meditation is when we become thoughtless meditation is when 
we become one with the consciousness and in order to be one with the consciousness we need to uh, follow a principle like the water boils on the 100 degree not on 99 degree same way we also need to go into our extremes any which method which suits us and take that to 100 degree like the water boils on 100 degree not on 99 so every individual's 100 will be different some may get uh, enter into the space of meditation early some might need to put more effort so once we become one with the consciousness and we don't know about the time and space we don't realize about how much time has passed that is the moment when we are in meditation from that moment if we get a one thought that means the meditation is broken and we have come back to dharana concentration so till the time we are having the one thought we are in dharana in concentration if we get multiple thoughts then the dharana also broken and we have come back to pratyahar inwardliness of our senses so till the time the senses remains inward we are in pratyahar if that also breaks then we come down to pranayam so till the time our attention remain on the breath regulation on the breath we are on pranayam if the attention goes away from pranayam also then we come to the asan and we remain on the asan till the time no muscle moves in the body if the neck moves or the back moves or anything in which you move the muscle then the asan is also gone so a firm asan where we do not move at all whatever happens and if we do a good pranayam practice and a good pratyahar practice and remain focused with the dharana then we enter into the space of meditation this could we could also enter when we go into our full capacity whatever we do so for example when we laughed in that time if any thought was was arising then the laughter was not good so we should laugh so intensely that no thought arises and if that happens then we enter into the space of meditation so there are many ways by which meditation can be explained what it is that's one of the definition i'm sharing with you today when you meditate we should sit in a comfortable posture so it could be on a chair it could be on a lotus posture it could be on siddhasan it could be on sukhasan whatever suits you sthira sukha asana so the asan the sitting posture should be stable not moving at all and comfortable so stable is first thing comfortable is second thing so you could choose whatever works for you so today when we sit in meditation pay attention that you do not move the body at all body is totally frozen once you freeze the body the mind also shuts you may be meditating from long time but experiment today that do not move the body at all whatever happens and then you will enter into the space of meditation very quickly for meditation if you also fix 
one area in your ha uh, home, like any corner of the room or some fixed place, then you will be able to enter into the space of meditation faster. So that would also be good. If you keep a uh, some kind of cushion or some sitting arrangement which is comfortable for you, and if you keep keep that always, that is also helpful. Uh, some people use the kusha asana, and that also is good. It reduces the thoughts. Some uses the uh, the mrig. Uh, some uses the uh, skin of the uh, the. Uh, this uh, mrig and some uses the lion. So different uh, skin has different purposes and uh, the, to begin with, you could have anything. Uh, so that's about the uses of asans. For meditation, if you do it in the, when the, uh, solar plexes are changing that's a good time the brahma murat very good time when the uh, the sandhya time when the day is finishing and night is coming the time in between is good time or any other prayer when the solar plex is changing that's a good time to meditate when we uh, sit in meditation, the clothes should be comfortable one, loose clothes, not the tight ones. But it is good to do meditation with whatever circumstances you may have, then um, like not doing it. So it doesn't matter you are wearing tight clothes or you don't have the sitting space. In any which way you meditate, it is good. Empty stomach helps you can feel the senses uh, better. Then uh, there is a certain diet which you should follow. And so sattvic diet is good for the meditation. So those are more or less the things for the meditation. More whatever you may have the questions uh, after the meditation, I will answer. There are 112 methods through one tradition uh, of Kashmir, Shaivism, Vigyan, Bhairav, Tantra. That tradition gives 112 meditation and then there are many traditions and they also give many different uh, meditation methods. Most of the traditions are not a public knowledge. Uh, some methods from certain traditions I will share because I have gone, gone through these journeys. And I feel that making them public is good for the humanity and it will bring the stress level of the people down significantly by these uh, fantastically good methods. When we go for uh, which technique to choose for meditation, the technique which could lead me to enter into the space of meditation, that would vary on different people. But one thing is for sure in the entire human consciousness, maximum people were awakened by the methods of breath. So if we know the breath, if we know uses of it, and there are number of methods in breath as well. And today we will practice the method related to breath. In, you might have noticed our breath changes as per the emotion we have. Like when we have, a, a, uh, when we are peaceful, our breath is deep, long, and rhythmic. When we are angry, the breath is how? Little in, little out, faster. When we are sad, the breath is little in, 
and more like so little in more out when one is sexual the breath is shallow when one is crazy the breath is changing in that so different emotion and different breath so if we can change our breath we can change our emotion as well today we will use the method of uh, breath and the method we will practice initially will be through uh, more towards the stress management so like it will release more of our uh, stress it will do more of the cleansing so we can enter into the space of meditation for example if you are at the workplace and you only have like let's say you can breathe 30 breath you don't have much time and can you enter in like can you feel less stressed or can you feel experience the meditation so in our jaw there are whole lot electromagnetic uh, radiations so to release them uh, we can do one method of jaw movement with mouth breathing like so inhale from mouth exhale from mouth so breathing in from mouth and out from mouth so i will show you first and then we do all together just 30 breath so it would be like this first whatever you have inside the mouth you take it in and then open the mouth as much as possible and have your hands like this Uh, i move like this and then open the mouth as much as possible and in one side you move out so open the mouth as much as possible and then forcefully breathe out now we count the 30 breath you're doing very well you can do 10 more and relax now observe whatever the sensations happening in the body if you get any thought use a mantra lam lam twice in the mind and come back to observing your senses
Now, please bring your attention to the nostril holes and observe the breath going in and out. And slowly taking your time, you may open your eyes. This was just 40 breaths. So when you don't have much time, you can do something like this. We will go further and so same method with this movement. <laughs> Now we do opposite. here and same moment ish, ish, 
and change you're doing very good keep going so going up and change now the cervical pain we remove so we take the neck at one side and in this what we have to do we breathe in from the nose and while breathing in we expand the upper lip that way we fill the oxygen as much as possible and then we breathe out from the mouth so this will be the breath strong inhale fill the lungs completely take as much as possible the oxygen and then throw carbon dioxide out so in from the nose out from the mouth so take the neck on one side and then while going back very slowly inhale till the middle and then out by coming the other side then from here take in from here come to the middle and then out do it very slowly and change now bring one side and then we go very slowly down so in here then go very slowly here and then in from after going to the half and then out then in and then out then in and out 
do it very slowly cervical pain should not happen so do it very slowly now we do reverse so in from the nose out from the mouth and reverse and change now left and right so in here and then one side and out in here and other side out in out deep in all 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 out and change now and see here and strong inhale last 20 breath and relax now close your eyes freeze the body completely no movement whatsoever please bring your complete attention on the nostril holes from where when the breath goes in observe that it's little cold And when it comes out, it's little warm.
Put the entire energy in observing the breath going in and out. Continue observing the breath when it goes in, it's a little cold and when it comes out, it's a little warm. Like this count from 20 to 1 in reverse order. Now bring your attention to the darkness in front of the closed eyes. And observe what you see there. In front of the closed eyes, the darkness you see, keep your entire attention there and observe whatever you see.
now i will play some music and you put your entire attention listening to it Thank you. 
Earlier we were taking the in from the nose, out mouth. Now we take the in from mouth again and out from nose. So in nose, out mouth, mouth in, out nose, in nose. Out mouth, in mouth, out nose, deep in from nose, out mouth, in mouth, out nose, in nose, out mouth, in mouth, out nose, in nose, out mouth, in mouth, out nose. You might stand up also. You might be tired sitting. So deep in from nose, 
out mouth, in mouth, out nose, in nose, out mouth, mouth in, out nose, in nose, out mouth, mouth in, out nose, in nose, out mouth, mouth in, out nose, in nose, out mouth, in mouth, out nose, in nose, out mouth, mouth in, out nose, in nose, out mouth, in mouth, out nose. Now faster. In nose, out mouth, mouth in, out nose. In nose, out mouth, mouth in, out nose. In nose, out mouth, mouth in, out nose. Ush. 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 Last one minute. Yeah, do it faster, stronger. and change in the end we use one mantra shiv so both the eyes looking on the tip of the nose and loudly we will chant mantra shiv so like this and look on the tip of the nose and loudly chant shiv 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 shoo 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 Shoo, 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 
back and sit down. Once you take the posture, please do not move at all. Freeze the body completely and observe whatever happening. Entire 
and then observing the breath when it goes easy it's a little cold and when it comes out it's a little
slowly move your fingers toes shoulders Now take a deep breath in. Oh. Once more. Oh. last one bring your palms together and move it around on the face and slowly taking your own time you may open the eyes If you have any questions, you could ask. Ah, uh, thank you very much, Swamiji. It was very nice that we went through this uh, meditation for almost about an hour. And thank you. We have learned a lot of things, Swamiji. My first question is that what is the dif what is the difference between meditation and contemplation? Uh, contemplation uh, contemplate you do on uh, thought comes and if you say thought is good or bad if you uh, remain on any uh, meditation is the one when you forget about you don't do anything meditation is the one which is not doing diving into not doing anything and the question arises how we can do nothing so in order to do nothing then these processes of out of these 112 whatever works we need to choose for ourselves and that we utilize to enter into a space of nothingness or being with everything so when we become one with the consciousness that's meditation and contemplation you use you use you contemplate to enter into to take help 
and enter into the space of meditation. So when we <laughs> contemplate, it's not meditation. So in meditation, basically, you need to get into the state of absolute calmness and blankness. But that is very difficult to achieve because there are so many thoughts which keeps on coming in a human's mind. And it is, it is almost impossible to just keep it away and just have a blank mind. So how do you achieve that? Like what we did, uh, certain breathing methods, so that was one out of the 112. There are many methods which works for certain individual. So to reach that state, Hemanji, like the water boils on the 100 degree, we need to do these processes with such intensity that whichever person's capacity is he reaches the maximum of that like the water boils on 100 degree as we boil till 100 degree then we enter into the space of meditation somebody can have less energy he'll be tired quickly he can still enter somebody has more energy he might take more time so doesn't matter how much the energy we have as much the energy we have we put all that in and then that happens zoom and we enter into that nothingness so you have also talked about the physical body and the astral body i was watching some of your videos so can you also explain about that what is the difference between the physical body and the astral body and how does a person levitate from the physical body or uh, transcend from the physical body into the astral body uh, let's first understand what these bodies are. So Kundalini has the seven bodies. So this body, what we see is the physical. The second body is about this emotional body. So what do you see the emotions going on a being? You recognize what this person could be on a state. So if there are photo, uh, like the Krillion photography, those can be utilized to take the photo of that body as well. Or all other bodies which we don't see by our eyes. So second body is emotional body. Third body is etheric body. Uh, through the etheric body, we can know like if an individual uh, understands the etheric body or have that siddhi or reach to the state of etheric body, then he can know other person's thoughts. Uh, he can tell much more thing more intelligently. He can like read a book in a minute or like in, uh, in a second. A uh, lot of these things are achievable. Above the third body is the astral body. So from the third body, the Atma starts. So body is separate, Atma is separate. The, these bodies, etheric and astral. So the less powerful ones are on the etheric and more powerful are on astral. So those astral bodies can traverse as well, like in the fraction of a second, it can reach to USA or anywhere in the world. So that's astral body. Till astral body, even the devatas are on astral body and they are also not liberated. They also need a human, human body to liberate. But on the astral body, uh, for the Devata side, there is an immense amount of bliss and then there are some negative entities as well. But still, they are not liberated. On the fifth body, the Kevalya Sharir, on that body we liberate. So, Atma is received, enlightenment or knowing truth is on the fifth body. The sixth body is Brahma Sarir. So 
the atma is still existing till the fifth body but the atma also dissolves into the paramatma and that's where the brahma sarir comes in picture so that's the sixth one the seventh body is nirvan kaya so in the nirvan it enters into nothingness absolutely nothingness in the brahma sarir there is still it is liberated it becomes brahm but still the a sense of remaining that i am still existing remains even it is not any individual it is the whole brahman but still it is that existing that i exist when that also dissolves then it's the nirvan kaya the seventh body so for example like the we given these clothes so that comes on the sixth body the this uh, orange clothes uh, in that that's the indication of sunset that sun is setting so hurry up no time remaining um, and realize god the seventh body that has the yellow clothes like what you see in the buddhist monks that's the nirvan kaya that all this is temporary and nothingness is the message so on the fifth body the white clothes are given so these all different bodies has their different uh, purposes and uh, characteristics this was one quick explanation of the different bodies now question comes how we attain that state yeah. that state of uh, where we can say, see the i am not the body i am the true atman i am the soul to see the difference between body and soul uh, just play around sometime like when you are very relaxed and walking and suddenly stop and see who is there like what i mean that is one method like what we did the method right now uh, we do the breathing for 7 hours and 3 hour and 36 minutes of meditation in that also it happens while doing 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 we will see the body separate and soul somewhere up so from the top of our head there would be a silver cord between this body and that another body and that another body which is airish type is seeing this body uh, it happens number of times to me when this body got out and uh, wanted to get back to this body uh, so initially it was uh, very a lot of curiosity and uh, also enthusiasm that you know achieved something seen something which is not seen by these eyes so once uh, i had my first experience then a thought came like what my friend uh, uh, clement uh, in doing in quebec so i reached over there and he and his um, his wife natalie they were chopping uh, vegetables so i just saw that information and uh, in after a long time i called him when i had the phone access and he said like are you around and how you know it and that's what we do every evening and he was very surprised by that um, so uh, the challenge comes when in, in these types of body when we are out of the body experience we are having and when we do not get back to the body So one time it happened like i got till this in and then uh, i was not able to get back and my head was not getting bad so then it was like a lot of that um, uh, worry and all that happens that time so then i pulled my prana and then uh, pulled prana uh, apana up and then on the novel generated the saman prana and through that distributed the uh udan prana and then it entered into the vyan prana and then the body and the head was in so these uh, i mean that's uh, one of the way to get back to the body the 
if the male body is out then if the female also uh, touches and massages any part of the body and then also it comes back quickly because the male and female uh, the plus and minus the electricity is generated and it comes back thank you so it's very interesting we don't have that much of time otherwise we could have gone into two more details of it uh, swami ji i just want to move away to something which is on the education and you have been advising the prime minister you have also you know introduced the sanskar shiksha and uh, the uh, also on one child one tree so can you just elaborate on it that uh, you know what were your ideas and what do you want to do the prime minister that you have advised him to take this up on a national basis in our country in the educational policy so if you can just explain to all of us that uh, what exactly it entails our current education system is of competition is of race is of becoming number 1 the society is not made by the number 1 but it made by everybody so number 1 are only few and rest all the one who becomes number 1 the toppers they satisfy their ego but the one who became remained behind they have the guilt they have the sadness and this whole race is not good the whole this ego thing is not good our education should be on the basis of love and to expand our potentials as human being till fullest we can do whatever it can but the basis of love should remain and that should not go like right now it goes that competition competition goes to the jealousy and jealousy is uh, uh, resulting in hatred and uh, when we have that as a system then the children are grown up like that and that goes on on and on and on and then there is no limit of this number 1 if you can be number 1 as a politician and if you can become like you could be the prime minister but even you become prime minister you cannot be the richest person might be mukesh ambani might have more bank balance and he even has the number one bank balance in the country or then there is a world to achieve and even one achieves and becomes bill gates and then he might not have that good body as the hollywood actor has and even that has then he might not have that peace of mind so number 1 is not the solution the love is the solution so the fundamental of education should be love driven and with that love they can uh, do their progress uh, whichever way uh, what suits as per their conscious vision so uh, my recommendations are a number of them in it that uh, there should be uh, we should be good human being so in the school system we should have a curriculum which teaches our children that how to be a good human being how to live life if the stress comes worry comes difficulty comes how to get out of them if you are sad what to do if you are um, in fear what to do if you are stressed what to do so one should know how to live life that is very important and we don't know that we not uh, give any education on um, which is the fundamental of or the definition of education the definition of education is the sa vidya ya vimukte the education or the knowledge is the one which liberates so right now it is not liberating it is occupying us more and more to collect more Uh, i was being invited by the all india institute of ayurveda to uh, celebrate uh, the teachers day and it was on um, uh, our ex honorable president uh, sarupalli dr radha krishnan ji so they were celebrating that a teacher became the president of the country and we should celebrate so i told that we should cry if this is the basis basis of teachers day who are uh, the foundation or, or the uh, very important uh, pillar in the education system who is celebrating that their teacher became a politician their teacher became a president highest post 
it should be that we, we should celebrate the teachers day when a president wants to leave everything and wants to say that all this is nothing i should be a teacher and teach our children so when you are from teacher to politician if you wanting to be even its president or um, prime minister other teacher if they want to be the section head or the principal or the vice chancellor what is wrong in it then again that competition that i should be climbing the ladders that should not be the basis the basis should be that we are loveful and we explore the creativity in which children feel complete one can like uh, this very famous story of abraham lincoln when he became the president and it was his uh, first day and somebody said that your father used to um, uh, do that uh, shoes job uh, at my house every day and lincoln thanked him that i'm so grateful that you remembered my father and uh, i cannot be a uh, as good as him even as president the good job which he used to do so hope he done the good job on your shoes and that is the kind of attitude and uh, thinking we should have where the climbing ladder is not important important is the peace of mind important is our children are happy and with that space they grow thank you thank you very much swami ji we have a lot of questions and uh, i think that you know in the audience also everyone has a lot of questions but because of the time constraint we'll try to try to take another uh, time from you some other day and spend more time thank you swami ji and pranam once again on behalf of all of us thank you for coming thank you thank you so much heman ji i'm so i feel so good uh, meeting you and uh... your father sahib and the great work you are doing to make this earth a better place it has very touching the number of uh, villages you have touched uh, the number of uh, schools uh, children work you are doing and uh, on the environment on the free medical camps on the uh, trafficking of our women all this empowerment work which you are doing is very touching and uh, Uh, i pray to almighty that uh, he gives you much more bhakti and shakti and uh, so you can do more and more good to the world and make this earth uh, a better place to live and uh, also you contribute to this uh, education mission that uh, we get one period in the school system to make our children uh, good human being that much of time is must for our education system then only we can grow otherwise this current education is not education it is only information thank you thank you pranam dhanyawad dhanyawad